Welcome to How to Hack Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin, uh, Trulia, even IDX sites of real estate brokers. This is uh, really how to hack these sites for the information you need, but saving commissions. And let me just say, the very first thing that I would do, I'm a real estate attorney and a broker in San Diego, the very first thing I would do is do not contact the listing agent or the buyer's agents until you have a plan to how to capture the value of the work that you're doing. Right now, if you're going to these websites and you're looking at houses and educating about yourself about prices in neighborhoods, um, you're really doing the, uh, the work that buyer's agents used to do, which is sort of the irony of it. The, um, these real estate websites are frequently giving you the work of the listing agents who took the pictures and wrote the, who did the measurements who um, who wrote the descriptions, uh, who uploaded all that information in the MLS, put together as a package that was useful, and then the, these websites come along, and then they try to sell the leads back to the realtor, and the leads are you. You're the one who's being captured by these websites. So I say don't let yourself be captured until you're doing, you know, they're entitled, they're allowing you to do the work. Don't let your, don't do the work and don't, be compensated for it unless you're happy with it. And even then, let me just say, if you work with me uh, and we split the commissions uh, and it's large enough, you know, if you might not want a discount on the house. You might not want closing costs paid for, but maybe you've got a week between when you sell and when you're moving in and you want to go on a trip to Hawaii while your furniture is in storage. Um, we can work that out. I'm a businessman. I'm an attorney. I'm a realtor. Um, and um, we can do it ethically without VESPA violations or anything else. Uh, and, and we'll talk about more in the future. And, but you can find out at winnerscheck.net by talking. You can set up a consult there and then talk to me. But anyway, now let's get to the hacking. So first of all, don't talk to the listing agent. Don't, don't talk to the buyer's agents. And let, let me explain a little bit. In these first two houses, by the way, we can go to all the websites, but or you can just trust me that Zillow, Realtor.com, and Redfin all had different amount of houses for sale in Poway between 800 and a million. Um, it's 741 when I looked at this um, about 30 minutes ago and I pulled them all up. But I don't want to pull up all the websites because I think it's going to degrade the performance of my video. And you might not be able to see my you, the soundtrack and the video might get off because I think it was using up a lot of my computer. Um, so anyway, I'm going to just work with Zillow, but this applies to all these other websites. Um, know that before you decide to make your deal, if you're working with a real estate professional, ask to be put on the broker feed so you can see everything that's for sale and just came on the market. For instance, at the Sandicor MLS, I called up and I said, after a listing agent inputs the data, how long does it take before you push it out? So people who get the feed through a brokerage know. And they said two to three minutes, but sometimes up to 15. I know that that's true for many other MLSs. So you don't necessarily want to go to these real estate portals if you're really concerned about getting that right home. Um, but let's talk about the hack. So for instance, this house is solar. I happen to know because um, I own a solar home and I, I really believe in helping people buy solar homes, especially when the panels are being transferred free and clear to the buyer because saving four, five, six, seven hundred dollars a month um, can equal maybe a hundred grand. I mean, I, I think it was... When we looked at this, a four and three ace, it was uh, a savings $500 a month on average in electricity was about 100 grand, which can be 5, 10% of the cost of your home. If you're buying a mortgage, buy, getting solar panels at the regular fair market value of the home, you might be getting a $100,000 bonus. So that, that's another story. So for instance, if I were working with you or someone you eventually choose to represent you, you call up the listing agent. And, and it's not always going to be the listing agent right here, by the way. That's one of the hacks that we're going to look at next. But I'd say, Daniel, I'm um, calling about your home listed at um, Whitewater Drive. Or are you the listing agent? Yes, I am. Or maybe he works for the listing agent. Well, I have a few questions. Have you had, I have a buyer who's very interested in their qualified. Um, have you had any offers? Are you considering any offers? Are you expecting any offers? Um, are the uh, sellers looking to sell fast? Are they, uh, what's their time frame? Do you know why they're selling? Sometimes this can help you get a deal because you can work something out with them. Um, maybe they're looking to buy another home in one, two months. Um, if, um, 
Are these the type of people that would like a quick, clean offer soon, maybe for a little less value? Or are they really looking for full value on the home? I mean, you got to feel them out, ask good questions. Some listing agents believe that they shouldn't give away other information. Other listing agents believe it's their job to get offers to come in, even if it's a little low, and then the negotiating process can start. So um, it really depends on who is representing them as a listing agent. Then I'd ask them about the solar panels. Who's the manufacturer? Does the warranty transfer? Is it, um, is it a lease? In which case, you know, that might be an opportunity for you because you're not saving as much money. Maybe you even have to pay money towards the lease. But again, that might be an opportunity because a lot of buyers are going to shy away from those leases. They might not even qualify. Other agents are afraid of solar homes because they do make mistakes. I've talked to some. Um, so solar is a great spot. But anyway, we're going to feel that out. If it's a pool home, if it's a golf course view, I mean, these things we're going to get from the listing agent. Now, let me contrast that with this property. This one's on, that was on 12 days on Zillow. This one's on 19. Now, you notice this is not the listing agent. It doesn't say contact the listing agent. This is now, so if you contact these people, and believe me, my wife and I ran into this. We were driving around in a car looking at homes in Poway, and we became interested in one that we saw, and we were like, call the listing agent, because we'd already driven by the sign. And I explained that you got to be careful here, because sometimes they're going to try to give you an agent instead of a listing agent. So I got on the phone, and I was asking some questions, and the agent I could tell was starting to um, bluff. And, I, and, and But she told my wife she was a listing agent, I said, are you... Really, the listing agent, because I have some questions that only the listing agent is going to know. And she goes, well, no. Um, so you got to be careful. And so in this case, these are buyer agents. Just as that other person was a premier agent, Zillow listed their name there because they pay Zillow for that privilege, either the brokerage or the person, I believe, at least when I was dealing doing business with Zillow. And these people are paying Zillow for leads. So um, they may not be able to. Now, here's really the hack. At some point, if you're working with a realtor who understands you've done a lot of the work and they don't, and, and they sign an agreement with you, because once a buyer's realtor or listing, and once you get view that property, most agents are going to feel that they're the procuring cause and they're going to want to capture their entire real estate commission, which can be 25 to 3% in general for the listing side and 25 or 3% for the buying side. So before you let an agent become a procuring cause, you should work something out with them. Now, my, my advice is generally deal with the listing agents, especially if you were working with me or another realtor, because even if I can't show you the property, I could probably work out a deal with that listing agent to have you see the property. And if you like it, make an offer. Now, the question, depending on the percentage, is I may want to be the buyer's agent or I may want to take a referral from that listing agent and have them do the work and I'll just oversee the transaction for you. That all depends on the level of involvement of me and the um, basically the side, how much you want to get paid for your work. So um, let's say it would be pretty easy if I'm doing some work and you're doing some work, um, we might be able to split that buyer side commission. Let's say it's a million dollar home at 6%, that's 30,000 each side. There's plenty of room for us to split a $30,000 commission, you know, proportionally, eight times six, 48, 24, 24. Um, and there's not many homes listed in California below six or 400. Now, if we're referring out to other parts of the country, although I'm not an agent there or a lawyer there, I have re referred them out all over the country, particularly if it's solar homes. Um, there's reasons that you'd want to work with us and we can refer it out and we'll worry about how much the commission split is, and how much work is involved then. But again, I really feel that these are fair hacks because you do not have to work with me. You just have to work with an entrepreneurial agent who's not so concerned about procuring cause as much as they are in, in doing a volume of deals and having happy clients who can use that money to upgrade the property, to, you know, fix the, you know, replace the tile, fix a roof, um, put a new pool in. Uh, and if none of that inter inter interests you, maybe go on a Hawaiian vacation in that week between maybe when you sell the property and when you're moving in. Um, so anyway, as I said, go to winnerscheck.net right now. That website, I've got multiple Winnerscheck websites. Winnerscheck.net right now is an application so you can set up a, a free 20-minute consult with me so we can determine how, how to work with you and how we can help. So winnerscheck.net. My name is John McConnell. I'm a broker and an attorney, and we are going to have more of these videos for sellers, how to hack these websites, 
to get the right price and then sell your home for top dollar. Um, and we will have certainly more detailed videos about the opportunity that solar homes present to many buyers um, in areas where there's enough sun. Um, and we'll have, we're going to have a series of these videos, how to hack commissions, how to hack websites. Um, it's basically how to do it yourself and be compensated for it. Thanks, John McConnell, winnerscheck.net.